Hi folks, Lauren asked me to make a quick video to show you how to change uh, letter grades into credit, no credit. Maybe some of you already remember how to do this, so this will just be a quick refer refresher. Um, you have to do this for every kid. So I'm gonna go into my grade book, I'm gonna go to grading, I'm gonna go to score sheet. Maybe there's a faster way to do this, I don't know, but this is the fastest way that I came up with. So you gotta make sure, first of all, that you're in the semester grade. So if you don't, if it doesn't say S2 here, like when I first looked at mine, I had I was in marking period still because I hadn't put any exam or looked at my semester grades yet. So you've got this doesn't work. If you change the marking period grades to credit, it won't show up on the transcript. So you want to first choose this drop down, change that to semester two. Then for anybody who has a 60% or above, they get credit. Anybody who has a 59% or below, they will receive a no credit. So nobody should get an actual letter grade. So I can click here. This is the best way that I came up. I'm gonna hit credit and I'm gonna go down and hit enter. Then that's gonna move me down one spot and then I look, okay, that's another credit, enter, credit, enter, and you get the idea. I'm not gonna go through and do all of these. Let's say I've got this kid here that's failing. I give them a no credit, but keep in mind, if you go back and that kid makes up some work, you know, you've got to change that back to a credit. So Ches said that we can go through and start to amend the ones that are, or change the ones that are already at credit, which I'm probably going to do. I think I did it in my, my fourth hour. Everybody in my AP Calc class earned credit. So those are already all changed to be credit. So you can go through and change the ones right now if you're ready to do some of that. If you want to wait until the later on, you can do it whenever. But the deadline... Seniors would be nice to get those done earlier, obviously, but the deadline is uh, June 9th for all um, all classes. Now you have to do this for everybody in your grade book, so you got to go through this hour and change theirs, and then you got to go to the every every hour and change everybody to a credit or no credit. Now after you're done, this is the system that I came up with. Maybe you can come up with a quicker one, but I just do a quick check. I click. And then I just use my arrows on the keyboard to run through and just make sure those are all credit, 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 credit. Yep, 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 yep. And there we go. So there's not really a great way to check and there's not really a great way to change everybody's grade. But maybe during your office hours, if you have as many kids as I have during my office hours, you can uh, do it then. So if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, I and if you want to return the grade, I don't know if I said this. If you wanted to change the grade back from credit and see what it really was, so if I click on this and I hit this circle here, that'll return it to whatever the grade should be. And then you can save it and change it back later. Like I, I need to change this kid back. Hopefully he'll make up his missing test. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, you can email me or you can email Chesney. If you can't do that, get it done by June 9th. She said give her a, shoot her an email.